meeting to order for January 22nd, 2019 for 7 p.m. Um, so first off, I'm going to do an acknowledgement that we acknowledge that we're meeting on the traditional land of Saugeen Ojibwe Nation, which is represented by the communities of Saugeen First Nation and Chippewa to Maywash Unceded First Nation. We also think of the Métis Nation of Ontario, whose history and people are well represented in Bruce and Gray counties. And our moment of reflection this evening is, of course, the new year has started off pretty busy. Our secondary schools have been hosting information nights for current grades 7 and 8 students and their parents. The Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program has also been coordinating a series of young women try the trades nights to introduce female students in grades seven and eight to the skilled trades. Starting this week, of course, secondary exams begin and I'm sure you guys over there have been studying really hard, right? Our staff and students always do an excellent job of providing supports and organizing activities to promote well-being during this active period. For our moment of reflection, I invite you to join me as we extend wishes for success to our students, including those writing exams and those planning their future pathways. Okay, so now I'm looking for the motion. Nope. So that the agenda for the meeting of January 22nd, 2019 be approved as printed. Can I have a mover, please? Trustee Lutz and second, Trustee McComb. All in favor, opposed and carried. Is there any disclosure of pecuniary interest with any of the items on the agenda this evening? I see none. So we're moving right along under um, A4A in that the minutes of the regular meeting of the board of December 18, 2018 be approved as printed. Can I have a mover please? Thank you, Trustee Atkinson and second, Trustee uh, Boyd John. All in favor? And opposed and carried. Next, that the minutes of the Committee of the Whole Board meeting of January 8, 2019 be approved as printed. Can I have a mover, please? Thank you, Trustee Morgan and second, Trustee McComb. As it, I should have asked before, is there any errors or omissions that you saw? See none. All in favor? And opposed and carried. Is there any business arising from either of the minutes that were just presented? Okay, so moving right along to excellence in education, and I'm going to put the motion on the floor that the Blue Water District School Board receive the athletics in Blue Water Report for information. Can I have a mover, please? Thank you, Trustee Morgan, and second, uh, Trustee Thompson. And welcome to Superintendent Wildman. Good evening. It is my absolute pleasure to be profiling athletics in Blue Water District School Board, and particularly the role that coaches play in our system. The people beside me are just a sampling of the amazing coaches we have in our system. And these folks here have been coaching themselves for a lot of years. Um, so they do come representing a large group of people who have offered many, many activities to our students in our district. If you look at all of the priorities we have in our board of our four priorities, the aspects of athletics and coaching, they hit most of those priorities, the parent engagement, the physical and mental well-being, and the student achievement. They can make a great link between sports and athletics and the academic achievement. We received many notes of thanks from community members and parents telling us how much they appreciate the work that coaches do. And uh, this evening, it's wonderful. We have the representatives from Blue Water Athletic Association, also known the acronym as BAA, and um, the Blue Water Elementary Sports Council, also known as BESC. 
And so both of these folks here, or these folks are going to speak to us about the role that they play in those uh, organizations and what they do, and also just um, the role as coaches. So I will introduce here, um, from BAA, we have Ian Carr, and Ian is a president this year, and he is a teacher at Georgian Bay Community School, and beside Ian is Tanya Byers. Tanya is a teacher at Walkerton District Community School. I myself was involved in BAA for quite some time as well, back in the day, and uh, so I know, uh, Tanya, you've been involved as well as at the Kwasa level, which is the Central Region Ontario, or Western Ontario level as well, and she might speak to that. And then beside Tanya is Andrew Warwick. Andrew is a member of BESC, and he's been serving in that, uh, on that committee for quite some time. And Andrew teaches at East Ridge Community School. And then we have Jason Gallagher, and Jason is teaching at Hillcrest Elementary School in Owen Sound. So we didn't really decide who was going to go first, but I think I might, since Jason, yes, since Jason is here, I'll have him uh, speak first. So uh, Andrew and I represent the BEST Committee, Blue Water Elementary Sports Council. We're a group of, of individuals that uh, are made up of teachers and administrators. We meet uh, three or four times a school year and we plan um, our area competition events uh, within the school board. So we kind of divide ourselves up into different regions and have area tournaments. And then we also, as a BEST Committee, we convene um, upcoming, we have the volleyball championships will be held at uh, East Ridge. And then following that, we'll have the basketball championships once all the uh, regions have uh, declared their winners. And we also uh, have uh, a whole board, school board wide uh, track and field meet in June at the Concord and Davidson Center. As well, early in the fall, uh, we, ha we host two events, um, two cross country events in uh, one, we've moved it to the soccer complex in Owen Sound, as well as Sogging Bluffs. Um, being the, the main convener of the Owen Sound soccer complex run with Curtis Coyne, we average over around 1,100 students participate that on a yearly basis. So as a committee, we have some uh, really high objectives as far as getting students involved and participating. And uh, Andrew will talk a bit about that. But most importantly, I'd just like to, on behalf of our committee, thank the school board for their financial support as well. Um, release time for us teachers to meet and uh, discuss and plan and organize tournaments, uh, as well as uh, providing banners to be it to the teams that win their area tournaments, as well as the whole uh, Blue, Blue Water Board tournaments that we, we Jason gave a very good overview of what it is that our uh, council runs. Um, we have taken it on as a council to try and provide um, fun, safe, fair sporting events for our students that find the balance between fundamental skill development as well as uh, much more serious competition. We have tried to align a lot of things, what we do with uh, long-term athlete development, uh, using things from OVA and OBA, the, the provincially governing leagues that help uh, run those things at a provincial level. So we take that back to our own level and see how we can adopt it here within Blue Water. We spend a good portion of our meetings using feedback from coaches and parents and students to adopt these rules and put them in place, um, trying to support coaches that don't necessarily have the same level of experience but are definitely willing to put themselves out there and volunteer their time. Uh, it's really the bulk of what it is that we do. So good evening. Thank you for inviting us here tonight as part of excellence in education as you celebrate all the work coaches do in our system. So Lori introduced Tanya. Tanya, I'm not sure if Lori mentioned this, but she's the executive director of the BA, the Blue Water Athletic Association. She's also the immediate past president of the Central Western Ontario Secondary Schools Association. So Quasa is the governing body of all secondary school athletic competitions in the area of which BA is a part of. And I am again, uh, and I'm also a Quasa director and president this year of the BA. 
So the BAA is an independent organized association which includes each of the 11 public and Catholic schools, secondary schools in the Great Bruce counties. It's governed by a constitution. It oversees all athletic leagues and championships, including the playing regulations for currently 17 team and individual male and female sports at the junior, senior, and varsity levels that are convened during the fall, winter, and spring sports seasons. BA provides structured support through school athletic directors, <clears throat> to all the staff and community members in our district who ultimately coach each of the students participating in high school athletic, athletics in Grey Bruce. Through this network, the BAA empowers us to teach young people to trust and rely on others, to achieve common goals, value everyone's individual strengths, and put collective needs before individual wants. These values are life lessons provide our students with an intangible skill set that they will continue to foster well after high school. Thank you, Ann. Within the Blue Water Raft Athletic Association this year, we actually have 213 different teams to participate, which means we have at least 213 coaches. Some of our coaches coach multiple sports, within a school year, and many teams actually have more than one coach. Coaches get up early for morning practices, work all day, and then may have practices after school, league games during or after school, and then take their weekends to take students to tournaments. They all strive to provide an opportunity for our student athletes to work towards excellence in their chosen sports while giving up their personal free time. Our coaches are always thinking, researching new strategies, making practice plans, and networking with other coaches. I've lost count of the number of Kwasa champions and OFSA medalists, which is the uh, Ontario Scor Sports Association, that have been produced from our Blue Water District School Board, which demonstrates the excellence of our coaches and our athletes in our area. High school athletics are filled with positive mentors, from the coaches to the officials and to our volunteers who make up the executive and directors of the Blue Water Athletic Association. The students learn to work with a range of coaches who teach them important lessons about hard work, respect, achieving a common goal, and good sportsmanship. The benefits to high school student athletes also includes overall fitness levels, persistence, patience, teamwork, cooperation, resilience, positive social relationships, leadership skills, time management, successful mindsets, and even improved academics. Because high school sports offers, offers equal opportunity to all students at high school level, these academic and life skill benefits actually extends to all areas of student population, including those that may traditionally be underserved in the community. I have found myself that coaching outside of class has helped me to foster relationships with our students within class, and I think that's very important. I actually have two videos that were developed by OFSA, which is the Ontario Federation of Secondary School Athletic Association, to promote, promote the benefit of school sport. The first one is called Dear Coach, and is thanking coaches from the athlete's perspective. I also have a, a third video, actually, that is called Dear Student, from the coach's perspective to the athletes. And the last one is called OFSA Success Stories, and it even highlights one of our Chesley High School graduates, Alex Ruff. I'm going to show those three videos to you. They're short little video clips, so I'll show them to you right now. Dear student, I'm glad you decided to join the team. I know at first you weren't sure if it was your kind of thing. Honestly, I thought the same thing about being a coach. Would I have the time? Could I handle the workload? Well, the answer is yes. And it's been so worth it. I've seen how school sports help students build confidence and improve their grades. And the research backs it up. But what I didn't know is how getting to know my students as a coach could actually make me a better teacher.
Dear coach, thank you for missing your family dinner so we can practice. Thank you for being on our side. Thank you for teaching us the things that are in the curriculum and the things that aren't. Because while we were getting ready for the big game, we were actually getting ready for the rest of our lives. We know that school sports have a positive effect on our children's social skills, academic success, and even mental health. Students who play school sports feel more capable of achieving their goals in school. Girls who play sports have a greater social and economic mobility. And adults who played school sports display higher levels of leadership, self-confidence, and self-respect. So what does that look like in the real world? There are examples of successful people who played school sports in every industry. Entertainment, business, healthcare, and beyond. But the most important success story are those of the people who make sure that sports are and continue to be a vital part of the school experience because they are the ones writing the success stories of tomorrow. I'm very proud to work with our dedicated group of coaches from Blue Water. I've had the opportunity to work with some of the best coaches as well. And I really want to thank you for acknowledging us and supporting us and recognizing that excellence in education can also be through high school sport. Thank you very much. Don't go away. There could be questions. Yes, don't go away. Right. Those, those videos were an excellent example of uh, what sports offers for the students in our system. Thank you very much, and thank you to all of you. This is really, I think, a perfect example for an excellence in education recognition because, as was mentioned by some of the speakers, it is their free time, their volunteer time, their family time that they are devoting back to the students in our system. And I think from what everybody had said this evening and as well from the videos, you could see the amazing um, aspects that sports bring into our students' lives. So I will, um, I'm glad you're back in case the trustees have further comments or questions. So uh, trustees and also student trustees, of course, and senators, if you have any questions or comments, I'll go ahead, Trustee Dawson. Thank you, Chair Dawson. <clears throat> Thank you for this presentation, I remember Back in the day, I was competing at Kwasa and Ops events, and it really is exciting. I have a question. What can we as a board do to improve the athletics in, in uh, Blue Water? Dawson, I'm sure there's, um, there's certainly many things, and it's a bit ironic that you bring that question up through the BAA executive and through our principal rep, Mark Azorio. We've... Uh, we are intending to sit down and meet as a bit of a committee and try and design a bit more of a plan for that kind of on ongoing support. Um, and this was something that came about at one of our uh, recent meetings and it was actually from uh, the board school administration, the principals, and working with you know, the different things like on calls, for example, the cost of sports, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, to say a few things right now about that specifically, 
Um, I'm probably speaking out of turn, but it is ironic you bring that up because we are going to hopefully address that, and it would be great to have the happen and report back again. Thanks. I think at the elementary level, as I said earlier, just the continued support financially. Um, you know, we do our best at the at the elementary level to have all areas of our school board represented to, in the, in the meetings here at the board office. Um, so that's beneficial that way. Um, you know, f when you see those schools that win a, an area tournament or the board tournament, they get that banner. That means a big deal. And when we're coming from all different schools and different schools hosting the tournament, it's nice to know as a committee that we, at the start of the year, we can provide um, all the area tournaments and the board-wide tournaments, the banners. Here they are, um, it's taken care of for the year, and that's just funding that we get from the board, from the school board towards our committee, and, and that's, that's very helpful. Um, and as Andrew said, we, we, we also try to um, periodically do some uh, professional development um, with, uh, with various ongoing issues with, with health or phys ed. Um, I had the last few years, um, uh, Chris Neiman and myself and a few others from our committee have been educating as many people as, it, as we can on the high jump. You know, so just getting out there, um, making sure the training's in place, the equipment's, uh, I I the proper equipment's being used for things like that. Um, we get great support from parents and things like that. When we run those cross-country events and we have a thousand people participating, we have another thousand people spectating. And, uh, and it, it's fantastic to see that. And uh, we appreciate everything we, we do. We've tried to take the model to, one of our goals is to get as many kids participating in the elementary level that can go and participate at the high school level. And, um, and a little extra cost that we do absorb within schools and things like that is that when the high school basketball season's finishing, our basketball season's just starting, and we're using the same officials um, that, that do officiate the high school level. And, and they love coming and, and, and roughing our grade seven, eight games because they do more teaching. They're like an extra coach on the floor. And, uh, you know, and, and that's very appreciated uh, from a coaching standpoint too. You know, their kids are hearing it from another voice also. Thank you. Um, Trustee McCombs, did you have a question or comment? And more or less, just a thank you. Thank you to the coaches for giving up your extra, your free time to coach kids. Um, my son played football at West Hill many years ago, and I couldn't believe all the extra time that the coach put in the, for the uh, football game. So thank you to you and all the coaches in Blue Water. I think that we all do we do it over passion and we do it and uh, we don't always do it to get the thanks but we, we do really appre appreciate that. Uh, I just had a couple of comments from your your question. Uh, secondary is a little bit different with our funding because um, with our meetings they're done with on calls so they're not done with supply teachers and we have gone through a period where we used to have uh, funding that was kind of for above for Kawasa and OFSA and we have, don't have that funding that we used to have. And um, so that's something that is, um, we, have to fund, we have to fundraise, sports teams have to fundraise. Schools, each school ha pays a membership fee and each school has their own method of how they get that funding from where they take the money from. Uh, students do fundraising, coaches maybe run tournaments in order to help write money, raise money for, for busing and for uh, cost for tournaments and referees. And so we're always looking for um, support that way uh, in a mon monetary kind of way so that uh, we don't have students who can't participate because of money as being an issue. And that's something that um, we really want as many high school students participating as possible. We don't want fun funds to be a limiting factor for them. Um, we do have some other ideas that we'd love to share with you, um, maybe at some further date though. Um, I'm just looking at the back. Um, student, Sen Senator Robertson. Robertson. 
experts. Um, I just wanted to make a comment, kind of. I've never personally had Miss Byers as a coach because she teaches none of, well, she runs none of the sports that I do. I've had her for other extracurriculars, and what they're saying about how much work they do does not give it justice. It's nearly impossible to find Miss Byers at school because she's running around doing something when she's not teaching. She's everywhere. And just the work that they do is a ridiculous amount. And as trustees, you may not see that because you're not in the schools, but it's a lot of work. And I just, I wanted to say thank you to Miss Byers and everybody else up there that I don't know their names. <laughs> Thank you. Is there any other question or commentary? Go ahead, Trustee Morgan. Any other comments or questions? I just wanted to say that on behalf of the board, thank you very much and thank you for all you do. My own personal story is that I, I played sports when I was in high school and that I believe I ended up finishing high school mainly because I could play sports. So, it, you know, I, I believe that there's all sorts of, you could say, extracurricular activities that students even though we have the regular school day, but oftentimes it's the other parts of, of um, you could say, the program that actually um, very much keeps students and, of course, by extension, the community engaged in, in the life of the school. So thank you very much on, uh, for, for students from the past and the present and, of course, in the future. Thank you. put the motion back on the floor that the Blue Water District School Board received the athletics in Blue Water Report for information. It was moved by Trustee Morgan and uh, seconded by Trustee Thompson. All in favor and opposed and carried. Um, now we're moving on to reports and uh, this is a report from the uh, recommendations from the Committee of the Whole Board from January 8th. Um, there's going to be eight motions um, because I chaired that committee. I will put the motion on the floor, so I'll be looking for somebody to second the motion. So the first one is that the Blue Water District School Board approve that GC Houston Public School students participate in the Can Canada Sports Friendship Exchange Program, Alberta Exchange field trip from April 29th to May 5th, 2019. Moved by uh, Trustee Johnstone, seconded by Trustee Mancombe. Um, any discussion? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carried. That the blue, next one, that the Blue Water District School Board approved that Keppel Sarawak Elementary School students participate in the Canada Sports Friendship Exchange Program Newfoundland Cultural Exchange field trip from June 1st to June 7, 2019. Can I have a uh, person to second that? Thank you, Trustee Boyd John. All in favor and opposed and carried. That the Blue Water District School Board approve that Owen Sound District Secondary School students participate in the Clarny Senior Art and Science Camping Trip from May 10th to May 15th, 2019. Can I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Trustee Boots. Is there any commentary? I see none. All in favor? Opposed and carried. That the Blue Water District School Board approve BP380D. Wait a minute. That's true. Okay. Yes, healthy schools and workplaces as revised for system use, maintaining the current cyclic review schedule. And uh, can I have a seconder? Thank you, Trustee Dawson. Any additional comments concerning that? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carried. That the Blue Water District School Board approve the revised policy standing committee terms of reference moved by Trustee Johnson, second 
Trustee Dawson, any additional comments? No? All in favor? And opposed and carried. Next, that the Blue Water District School Board approve Board Policy BP 1108-D Code of Conduct, Trustee, as revised for system use. Moved by Jan jo Trustee Johnson, seconded by Trustee uh, Atkinson. All in favor and opposed and carried. Next, that the Blue Water District School Board approve Board Policy BP 3501-D Purchasing as revised for system use. Uh, moved by Trustee Johnstone, seconded by Trustee Thompson. Any additional commentary? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carry. And then that the Blue Water District School Board approve initiating the process of developing the board's multi-year strategic plan. Moved by Trustee Johnstone, seconded by Trustee Lutz. Any additional comments? I see none. All in favor? and opposed and carried. Just to let you know, because I have my reading glasses on when I look up, you're all a little blurry, so if I miss your hand going up, please just check that out. Okay, so next we're gonna move to the business committee of the whole report. So I'm going for January 8, 2019. So first off, I'm gonna ask uh, Trustee Morgan, who's the chair, to give her report, and then that'll be followed by two recommendations to the board. Thank you, Chair Johnson. Um, before I start my report, I would just like to say uh, to thank the staff for putting together the information session before our business committee meeting uh, for our last meeting. I've always thought it was a bit of a, a learning curve being dropped in at the deep end when starting on a new board for both the new trustees and for the returning trustees and explaining the acronyms and the lingo was great help and I really haven't been aware of these sessions in the past. So I would like to thank them very much for that. It was great help. Okay, my report. So items for uh, decision uh, with the committee received a report on the audit committee meeting which was held on November 14th, 2018. Um, and the rest of the information was uh, items for information. Again, audit committee, 26th of November. The enrollment report, hopefully the en enrollment will look like it's going up. Um, the 2018 and 19 interim number one report um, that in outlines the expenditures and the revenues to October 31st, 2018. Um, to be compared to the uh, approved budget. Um, we had a other financial update on the education program, outlining the changes in the education pro uh, program and other financial grants for the 2018-19 school year. Changes included a reduction or elimination of funding in 13 grants. <coughs> then discussed uh, the budget time, the committee, um, and how the 2019 budget process goes. Uh, we also had a uh, great relocation update with King, for King Carton and Port Elgin areas. We had uh, information update on the Bayview Public School property, Ethan Baker School Senior School update, Georgian Bay Community School Update and the Beaver Crest Community School Update. We also had uh, an update on administrative um, placements. Would you like to read the recommendations? So that's my report. Thank you. Line. Okay, so here um, this is the first of the two recommendations that the Blue Water District School Board approve the audit committee report outlining 
the activities of the committee for the year ending August 31st, 2018. Can I have a mover? Thank you, Trustee Morgan and second and Trustee Dawson. Is there any additional commentary, comment, questions? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carried. Um, next, that the Blue Water District School Board approve the annual report of the audit committee for the year ending August 31st, 2018 and forward to the Ministry of Education. Can I have a mover? Thank you, Trustee Morgan, second. Trustee Dawson, any additional commentary? Comments, questions, I see none. All in favor and opposed, carry. Um, next. We're going to have a, is a report from the Committee of the Whole and Camera, January 22nd, 2000. There is no report coming out of the Committee of the Whole and Camera meeting from today. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chair Thompson. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to, uh, there, 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 there wasn't any notices of motion. Is there any notices of motion coming forward from any of the uh, trustees today? I see none. Next, um, we are then moving to around committee establishments and appointments. There isn't any. And then um, we're going to the Special Education Advisory C Committee. So there's representative appointments. Um, and these are points that have been nominated by the local associations and agencies. I'd like to welcome Superintendent Cullohan, who is going to do a brief overview, and then after that, I'll put two recommendations on the floor. Welcome. Thank you, Chair Johnstone. Thank you so much. We're excited once again to be up here and talk about more appointments to SEAC, so it's very exciting for us. And as we have talked about before, we have the Ontario Regulation 46497, and that requires that members of the Special Education Advisory Committee, or what we call SEAC, and their alter alternates must be appointed by Blue Water District School Board for the term of the Board of Trustees. So this evening we have two from Community Living in Walkerton. So we have a member, and then we have the alternate, and we also have a member at large who's being nominated by SEAC, and that's a parent that's joining us. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to put some uh, the recommendations on the floor. So the first one is that the Blue Water District School Board appoint Marlene uh, Weed as a member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the 2019-2022 term as nominated by Community Living Walkerton and District. Can I have a move for that, please? Thank you, Trustee Atkinson, second, Trustee McComb. Any comments, questions concerning that appointment? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carried. Next, the Blue Water District School Board appoint Cheryl Marshall as the alternate member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the 2019-2022 term as nominated by Community Living, Walkerton and District. Can I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Trustee Booth. Second, Trustee McComb. Um, any questions, commentary? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carried. Um, next is also from the Special uh, Education Advisory Committee, and it's a, once again representative appointments nominated, nominated as additional members, and uh, Superintendent Cohen will do once again a brief overview, and then I will put the recommendation on the floor. So once again, this is a this is a parent that's come forward, and we've been really trying to get more and more parents onto SEAC, so we're thrilled, and the parent has come forward. So again, this is a member at large, and this person is being nominated by SEAC. Thank you very much. So um, that the Blue Water District School Board appoint Brittany Knight as a member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the 2019-2022 term as nominated by the Special Education Advisory Committee. Can I have a mover? Thank you, Trustee Atkinson. Second, Trustee um, Morgan. I almost lost it there. Any questions, commentary? I see none. All in favor and opposed and carried. Yeah. And then I'm just going to scroll down. Next, uh, for these are reports for information, and I'd like to welcome Student Senator 
student trustee, Sori Brown, who will give the student senate report. Thank you, Chair Johnstone. Secondary students in Blue Water are gearing up for their exams right now, including many of our student senators who are taking a well-deserved break tonight. Overall, though, our Senate has not slowed down this month as we continue to work on our initiatives. We're creating a GSA document for schools to help spread awareness and keep them alive and thriving in our, in our secondary schools. And we're also working on school cafeteria items to make sure that they are properly advertised for students and healthy. Our focus on student health goes beyond physical. We're also looking at ways to promote and support strong mental health of students via board-wide initiatives. This year, the Student Senate is also continuing on one of our main pillars from last year, elementary engagement. Last year, student senators visited the elementary schools and the future students of their schools to discuss youth leadership and opportunities for personal growth as a student in Blue Water. And this year, student senators uh, will once again visit their schools to continue building a relationship with our younger students and will work toward having a meeting with elementary students as a Senate later in the year. Beyond engaging with our students and working on Healthy Bodies, Healthy Minds initiative, we are also reviewing how Blue Water and its students engage with the environment. We're looking to present arguments to change the board policy around plastic water bottle sales in schools and are reviewing other uses of plastic. Overall, our Senate is committing to working on these issues through the end of the year and are excited to pass on this momentum to next year. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer them now. Thank you very much. Any questions, comments? Go ahead, Trustee Dawson. Thank you, Chair Johnstone. <clears throat> Not a question, but a comment. Your uh, <clears throat> initiative regarding plastic bottles throughout the board, I really applaud that. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about that. Thank you. We'll be bringing that up in a policy meeting soon. And go from there. Thank you. Any other for further questions, commentary concerning the report? I see none. Thank you very much, uh, Student Trustee Brown. Next, we're moving uh, off to, and I'll put the, the, the motion on the floor. It has to do with staff reports and that the Blue Water District School Board receive the French as second language report for information. Can I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Trustee Boyd John, second, Trustee Morgan, and welcome, Superintendent Lennon. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Uh, puisque ce rapport est au sujet des uh, programmes français, je vais le présenter en français, d'accord? <laughs> I'm just offering to present the whole thing in French if you'd like. <laughs> oui? Uh, so we do receive some funding to support uh, French enhancements in our schools, and uh, there are three ways in which we do that. One is potentially through some uh, system leadership uh, where we can hire an FSL teacher to provide those supports. And we have had the ability to do that this year um, and go forward from now till the end of June for a point two. So that person helps um, support any projects or programs that may be provided in school where that is required. We also have the capacity to um, provide for some enhancement for programming, and that uh, tends to occur in three areas. Um, the first would be in professional development for FSL teachers, both core French and French immersion. Uh, and um, we've had a number of teachers that have made a request in that regard, and they're looking particularly at reading instruction for English uh, students who are uh, learning in French. We've also had a project that was proposed for homework support, and that has been approved. And then we've had a number that have been supported around uh, particularly French resources. It, that can happen with resources that they ask for in the schools or resources, for example, attending some kind of immersion opportunity. So we have both, um, we have requests in both those areas for books, um, which can be particularly difficult to find uh, for students en français, depending on at what level they're learning, and then also for immersion. So for example, an immersion opportunity at the Science Center. Uh, we also have the um, Concours d'Art Oratoire, which is the uh, French version of public speaking. That will be occurring on March the 20th and uh, in this office, and it is quite an event. And returning trustees may recall that last year we did have a report where we had a couple of students present their speeches to you and also did it uh, in, in an impromptu fashion uh, in, in, one, uh, in one case. 
we have the Diplôme d'études en langue française, which is uh, more commonly called DELF, and that is where uh, students have an opportunity to uh, challenge um, the French test. They, it is offered, uh, actually it's through the Ministry of, of uh, Education in France, and they actually uh, provide um, a standard for students who are not French language learners and they're not from France. So this provides students with an opportunity to add that to their resume if they successfully challenge. Uh, it also provides them some opportunity um, to have um, a, a more facilitated access to French language universities, uh, which uh, some students are looking for. And that the test itself is looking at oral and written comprehension and expression en français. So that will be occurring in May and there will be a number of students challenging and we do have uh, teachers who act as the examiner's correcteur who will be here facilitating that. Uh, so that is the rapport en français and I'd be happy to take any questions. Merci beaucoup. Et uh, la personne ici a question. I know I just mangled that. Any questions? It, en français? No. Thank you. Thank you very much for that update. Okay, so um, that the Blue Water District School Board, we've already put it out, I'm just going to repeat it, received the French as second language report for information. It was moved by Trustee Boyd John and seconded by Trustee Morgan. All in favor? Opposed and carried. And thank you, and thank you very much, Superintendent. Pardon? She's up again, so that's why she's not going anywhere. That the Blue Water District School Board received a second annual workplace wellness challenge report for information. Can I have a mover? Trustee uh, Dawson, second, Trustee Woods, and welcome again, Superintendent. Um, Thank you. So, um, this is uh, the returning res trustees may recall that we had this last February, and we did present a report to you, and we're bringing it to you now because we would like to invite you and the Student Senate to participate in the second annual Workplace Wellness Challenge. Uh, and this is a, a somewhat competitive event um, where you participate doing whatever physical activity you might like and uh, you track that activity for a month with your team and then there's a mechanism to look at uh, how many points you may have earned and you would send those in to Josie Becker and you may have an opportunity to win an absolutely phenomenal trophy. Um, you need to pick a team name and uh, you uh, also can get extra points if you send a team photo in and we have our ever trusty Jamie, Pe Jamie Pettit who tweets those out <laughs> so that uh, the whole world will know that you're participating on your wellness through physical activity. And this can be as simple or as complicated as you might like to make it. Some people might just want to say that vacuuming is a physical activity, which it is, or it might be, uh, as uh, Superintendent Wilder might do, running a very long <laughs> distance <laughs> most days of the week. So it can be as big or as small as you choose. So we would invite you to participate. The um, forms are actually in your folders. Uh, the, so you may need someone to lead, so I don't know whether Chair Johnstone would like to take that on for the trustees and perhaps uh, trustees Ryan and Emma for the Student Senate, should they be interested. Thank you very much. Yes, we'll have to, we're going to be away this weekend, so we can probably maybe work on the name of our, our team. Um, I, I thought at first you were saying that, you know, in terms of the Student Senate and, and uh, and trustees that we were all going to be together and I thought that would be really a great idea. You could do they that. They would probably be a lot more active than us. <laughs> but um, anyway, so just a minute, yes, Trustee Dawson. Yeah, I would like to participate, although my activity would be all downhill. <laughs> I, go ahead, Trustee Thompson. I'm just curious, is a, 
an activity equal to any other activity? There's no measurement here. Is it one point? If you run a marathon, do you get a point? And if you vacuum, do you get a point? That is, there is no formula for this at all. Uh, and it is an honor system. So I walk an hour in a day and I will get a point a day. And I also remember from last year that there were, you know, like team groups would have pictures of something they, they did. So, okay. I think that we probably will accept the challenge. What about the student uh, trustees and senators? Do you think you're up to that challenge? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So the Blue Water District School Board received the second annual Workplace Wellness Challenge report for information. It was moved by Trustee Dawson, seconded by Trustee Lutz, all in favor, and opposed and carried. We're getting pretty close to the end now. So in terms of um, correspondence, um, we did receive correspondence from uh, Rainy River District School Board. It was a letter from their chair. It was copied to all school board chairs expressing their concern for the delay in funding for Ojibwe language strategy. And then we also received a letter from the Minister of Education, uh, uh, MPP Thompson, in response to our letter regarding the cancellation of the Truth and Reconciliation Curriculum Writing Session. So that's our co um, correspondence that we received. Next, under there's any communication and announcements from course student, tr student trustees, trustee staff, Ministry of Education or OPSPA. I just want to, of course, mention that we have the PEZ, which is for uh, trustees, and I was want to let you know that student trustee Brown is also attending, so we'll be all on our very best behavior. Um, so, is there any other announce? Um, uh, you could say announcements going on here, communication? Yes, Trustee Dawson. Thank you, Chair Dawson. <clears throat> Saturday afternoon, about 300 people in the Markdale area were entertained and enthralled by a presentation of student musicians. Uh, there was Maffey, Taffy, O'Caffey, and I'll explain those if you want later. The Beaver Crest Choir and the Osprey Rock Choir provided about an hour and a half of entertainment I was amazed at the talent that these kids showed. And another thing that I was amazed at was the participation by Blue Water staff as actual band members and choir members. It was a great uh, opportunity to see teachers working along beside their students as they went through this concert. So hats off to that group and, uh, <clears throat> and the organizers who put it together. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have any announcements? Okay, I see none. And um, then, if, you know, as we, I said, there's a conference um, t starting tomorrow. Do you have anything, uh, Trustee Morgan? No? Okay. And then we're moving along to the calendar of events. If you, pre, you know, pre, uh, read it over, you'll notice that it's once again starting to get shorter as we are now into January, half the year. Anything that we think that should be in there? I see none, and we're moving. I can't believe the time. There we go. That the Blue Water District School Board adjourn at um, 7.51, 7.54. Can I have a mover? Trustee Morgan, second. Trustee Thompson, all in favor and opposed. And carry safe journey home. And thank you very much.